What's going on YouTube? This is Brent0331. In this video we're going to look at some of the common German World War II SS patterns that were worn throughout the war. Now right now we're in a late fall, early winter environment here in North Texas. Uh, we got a lot of tans, browns, and light greens in the environment. Bruce and I were talking on the phone the other day and we were like, hey, what are we going to do next? And uh, we started thinking about some of the World War II patterns that were utilized by the Germans. And we think that these patterns will blend very well into this environment. Um, so these SS units had several variations of camouflage patterns. Bruce and I are going to uh, come out here, we're going to swap it up, we're going to use different camouflage, uh, the different scenes. It's going to be pretty much different in every scene. So uh, I'm going to turn it over to Bruce. He knows a lot more about this stuff than I do in regards to the uh, German camouflage patterns. So I'm going to turn it over to him so he can tell us a little bit more. Well, these patterns changed up between 1937 and 1945. Each pattern was a take on the previous pattern for the most part. Uh, many of the SS patterns were reversible in the beginning, and those continue to be issued throughout the end of the war. Um, in 1944, you saw the issuance of the dot 44, which wasn't a reversible pattern. It was almost a, a, a one color does everything pattern, a universal pattern if you would, where it's got a lot of greens, but it's got a lot of browns as well. But we're going to bring many of those patterns to you today, let you see them out in a heavily wooded environment in the fall where the leaves are starting to turn a little orange. We think the pattern's gonna perform very well. And then you guys be sure to put down in the comments uh, how well you think that they're performing or they're not performing. Keep it in mind that th these patterns are 80 years old now and uh, we think that they can still hold their own against some of the best that's out there today. Right, and a caveat on that, you know, Bruce brought up the point where this 44 dot uh, camouflage pattern was thought of being a, almost a universal pattern. And you think about you know some of the modern day stuff like multicam and some of the other uh, multi-terrain type patterns that have come out recently. But here the Germans are back in the 40s and even 30s thinking about that specific concept. So uh, they, were, they were definitely leaps and bounds above, above everybody else when it comes to uh, camouflage design during that time. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and put this pattern to test. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to leave a comment.
Well, that's it, YouTube. That includes this fitness video over the World War II SS camouflage patterns. If you're liking what you're seeing, don't forget to check out my channel and subscribe. I've already done several camouflage fitness videos, plan on doing several more in the future. Bruce, you got any closing comments for us? Well, I just hope that you all were impressed with how well these patterns perform, given how old they are, the t technology behind them um, in this particular environment. Uh, I think that we both agreed. We were a little bit impressed at how well they work, and uh, we thought they would perform well. We hope that you feel that they perform well. Don't forget to leave your comments below. And uh, just one closing comment. I just want to add that a camouflage pattern is never obsolete. It works just as good now as it did when it first rolled off the market. So, you know, to look at this stuff and to realize that it came, you know, it was designed back in the 30s and 40s and whatnot, it's just as effective now as it was back then. So all this stuff about, oh, that's an obsolete pattern and whatnot, <laughs> it works just as good then as it does now. So thanks for watching, y'all, and don't forget to leave a comment.